Hey YouTube, here is my uh, sniper rifle guide slash testing that I did, um, just like my secondary weapons guide. Um, doing a continuation, I'm going to do uh, machine guns uh, and also assault rifles next. Um, in the meantime, uh, I just want to make mention before the video starts here, I do have human error. You're going to see me make mistakes, you're going to see me miss all that, okay? Now, I'm obviously going to try to break the gun down for you guys so you understand what's going on why I'm missing but just know I'm not the perfect shooter and I'm not claiming to be um, take the footage and you know do a side-by-side -side comparison with your own testing so one of the first things I have to bring up here is this mission is called shooting range it's on armaholic.com it's awesome it has awesome scripts I'm using it I gotta give a shout out to Marcy Lago um, go ahead and check it out in the link I just posted on here somewhere. I will also have it in the description. Um, all credit goes to him for the mission. I'm just simply using it as a means to show you guys uh, some of my testing. So the format for this video is going to be first a fire rate test. I'm going to show you the fire rate first in full speed, which means as fast as the gun can possibly shoot, and then I'm going to show you it in quote unquote plausible speed, which is more like being able to reacquire the target after firing. Um, I'm also going to be speaking about the gun all while this is going on. Um, second test I'm going to run is accuracy test. Then I'm going to show you the stats of the weapon according to the scripts that I ran in this mission. Then I'm going to tell you my gun score along with my reasons for it. Now to you who are saying, hey, where's the where's the FN Fallon VG scope, you know, the L85? Uh, I consider those more of assault rifles. So I'm going to be focusing more on the sniper rifles. And uh, I'll leave the assault rifles for the assault rifle video. So first up, we have the CZ-550. This is a weapon that you can find more on the southern coast. It's not a very high tier sniper rifle. This is very low tier, actually. This is the bottom of the bottom. But same time this weapon has zeroing capabilities um, this thing has five round magazine and it fires the 9.3 by 62 millimeter so let's start off with the fire rate of the weapon the fire rate of the CZ 550 is fairly slow actually there's a long pause between each shot I'm spamming my left clicker here that's how fast the gun could possibly fire now next up we do the plausible fire rate. Now this does not change actually. Considering how slow the gun is, I'm ready to fire before it's ready to fire. One thing I'd like to make quick note of, as I'm sure you've noticed, is that this scope uses the Chevron. It doesn't have a mill dot in the crosshair. It uses the Chevron, which is a little up arrow. So you saw that previous shot. I'm zero out for 500. My target's 500 meters away. And the Chevron, you don't aim exactly where the tip of the chevron is you aim just just a hair above the middle of the chevron so now I set the range from the target 675 so what I do is I put my scope for 700 and seeing how I'm aiming you know my, my, my bullet's gonna go higher because I set it my distance higher I'm gonna aim at his waistline to hit him and I do that twice here Okay, so now I'm going to set the range to 800, which is the max zeroing on the CZ-550. You can't go past this. You can't zero for 900. You can only zero for 800. And I'm testing the accuracy out, and we go high. This is where I learn, really, that you got to aim a little bit, just a hair below the Chevron to hit your target. And you can see that right here. Granted, I had a little FPS lag, but uh, it definitely still worked. I'll take another shot just for you. And there we go. So what I'm doing here is I am setting the range to 900 meters just to show you guys that uh, this weapon can be fired out of its effective range, but it's not recommended. See, it's very hard to get this good zeroing. Like You can't really get a good uh, consistent aim when you're shooting past your effective range of your weapon. Not to mention, when you're shooting past your effective range, your bullets tend to do less damage. So now here are the stats of the weapon. What I want you to take note of is the projectile speed and the projectile flying time. The flying time is how long it takes to get to the target. The projectile speed is the actual speed of the bullet. Um, ignore the fire rate on this because it's, it's not correct. Another thing to mention is for future tests, 
all of them are set for 300 meters because that is the most optimal range I'd say in DayZ for engaging a target with a sniper rifle. I gave the CZ550 a gun score of 6 out of 10. The perks of this weapon is its accuracy and the bullet strength. It does do its job. Uh, the bad sides, however, are the Chevron usage, which, as I said, you have to aim a little bit above the Chevron, which is confusing sometimes and hard to do, um, the low rate of fire, and the five rounds per mag. Now, I was going to include range in the gun scores, that this is only capped out at 800 meters, but in Daisy, you're not going to be shooting past 800 meters, ideally, anyways. So I, I will exclude range in the gun scores. So next up is the M24 sniper rifle. This is a lot like the CZ550 in its zeroing. It's five round magazine, but one of the major differences between that and this is that this one fires a 7.62 by 51 millimeter NATO round. NATO? NATO. So here is the fire rate of the weapon. It's just like the CZ550 where I'm on my target waiting for that damn clicker to come back up. I'm not gonna do both uh, the, the plausible fire rate and the, the fast fire rate because pretty much they're both the same. I'm on target before that thing is even ready. So one of the sexy things about the M24 is that this thing is accurate as hell. I'm sorry, I had to say it. It's, it's accurate as hell. It's amazing. I love it. It's my favorite sniper rifle. Um, aside from that though, this thing uses the mill dots along with the crosshairs and it, it just feels spot on. I'm taking, the first shot was a 300. Next was a 500. This is going to be a 675. So I zero for 700. Aim a little bit below the head, and presto! All right, beautiful. So now I'm going to move this thing up to the range right here. I'm going to move it to 800. I'm going to show you th that it's effective at even the max effective range. Show you how accurate this baby is. Beautiful. So now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go 900. This is out of my max effective range. And mill dots, the way they work is, each mill dot vertically is 100 additional meters. So if I'm zeroed up for 800 and I want to shoot at 900, I should go one mill dot below and use that as the center of my crosshairs. But <clears throat> since that's out of my max effective range, that's not correct. And I adjust for that in the upcoming shot right here. Now take note that... I don't actually use the first mill dot, I use second mill dot. And I know that doesn't make sense, that means I'm shooting for a thousand. But when it's out of your max effective range, the mill dots are completely not usable. Here are all the stats for the M24 sniper rifle. And remember, take note of the projectile speed and the projectile flying time. So, seeing as the CZ is so much like the M24, I consider to do a side-by-side -side comparison of the stats. Now one thing I want to take note of is that uh, I see that the projectile speed is actually different sometimes. I'm unsure why that is, but it's a script doing the job for me, so I'm not going to argue with it. I'm just going to go with it. The reason for this is because of its amazing accuracy, good strength in the bullet, and it has a nice mill dot scope. Now I know a lot of you might be saying uh, Ace Paint just because it has a mill dot scope doesn't make it cool. Uh, the single zoom actually makes it amazing for accuracy. Um, I will show you more later about that, but its drawbacks are the low fire rate and low amount of rounds per mag. So next I have a rifle up is a DMR. This thing has a 20 round magazine. And it doesn't have zeroing, but it does have variable zoom. It lets you zoom in. So on to the fire rate. You'll see that this gun, well, its fire rate is ridiculous. Yeah, that's really fast. Like, really fast. Damn. So here is the plausible fire rate, where I'm trying to get on target, take the shots as fast as I can without missing. You'll notice the DMR does have some jump to it. Now one of the most important things to take note of here is the variable zoom. But the variable zoom does have its problems. Right there, the DMR is zeroed off for 300 meters. 
I am at 300 meters, I am directly at his head, and it went completely over his head. Without zooming in though, I shoot that same spot, aim for his head, and it hits him a little bit lower in the chest. So it appears there's some discrepancies of what the zeroing really is and what's what's working and what isn't working for that scope. Now this is 500 meters. I used the second mil dot down which is 500 meters in this scope and it hit him in the head so now I actually use it aiming at his head directly over his head keep in mind this is while zoomed in now I'm probably gonna do it zoomed out here I use second mil dot over his head high now I set the range for 675 meters now each mil dot from 300 is an additional hundred so First mil, 400, 500, 600, 700. So I'm going to use the last mil dot on there, the fourth mil dot down from the center, to aim. So at 675 meters, that actually seemed to work. Now I tried not zoomed in, and, well, the bullet goes way high. Now I set the range for 800, which is technically out of the me the uh, effective range of the DMR. DMR has four mil dots, which should only take you down to 700. So therefore, I'm just gonna shoot anyways. And you see, without zoomed in, my bullet goes way high. I take another shot right here, and it goes way high again. So now I zoom in and try to do it using the fourth mil dot. It almost hits him actually. I tried again. Right through his legs. Right through him. Hit right in the cock bag. I do that again. This time I aim a little higher and I get a headshot from it. Here are the gun stats according to the scripts. One also cool thing about the DMR is its night vision capabilities. That makes this a night weapon, which is awesome for anyone that has NVGs. My gun score for the DMR is an 8 out of 10. The reason for this is its amazing fire rate, which is also very helpful if you find someone at point blank range, the good strength of the bullet, the mill dot with the variable zoom, which again lets you kind of pick which zoom to use depending on the distance to the target. Uh, it's high amount of rounds per mag, meaning if you miss once, you still have 19 shots. Um, but one of the biggest drawbacks is its inconsistent accuracy. Now, in my personal opinion, as a marksman or a sniper, you want to be accurate with your shots. But the fact of the matter is, this rifle is one of the, a very common sniper rifle among bandits. It's very easy to get, very easy to use. It's not consistent, but you do have 20 shots to show down range. And don't forget, it's night vision capability. That gives it a huge advantage all over all other sniper rifles. Next is the SVD camo. This is a very low spawn rate. It fires a 7.62 by 54 millimeter. That means it's a bigger round than the DMR and the M24 sniper rifle. It has a 10 round magazine but the zoom isn't all that great on it so starting off that's the max fire rate of the weapon that's spamming the left trigger now I go into the zoom we're gonna take a little break here stop the, the screen and figure out what exactly these chevrons mean so these chevrons they go by two hundreds the top chevron the huge chevron on the top that is less than 200 meters but after that it goes the center 200 Next is 400, next 600, next 800, and next 1000. It's also a little range finder on your scope, which I'll show you later. Now here's the, the plausible fire rate that I try doing here. Um, it's very hard to do because the zoom is not that strong. So it's a little harder for me to get back on target and get a guaranteed hit.
Now you may be wondering how that rangefinder works on your scope. So I'm going to show you how it is. Right now I have that target set at 500 meters. So what you do is you take that bottom line of that little rangefinder, put it next to the guy's feet, drag it over, and see how it hits that little notch between the 4 and the 6 on that line, that curved line. That means he's at 500 meters. And that's how you use the little rangefinder there. You just pull them up to the rangefinder, see his range, and kind of estimate what it is. With that said, I go ahead and take a shot right here using the chevrons. Remember, 200 center, 400 next, 600 next. Well, I go between the 400 and the 600 chevron, which is the two and the second and the third chevron, and I uh, take the shot and I get a hit right in the chest. Here, I put the range up to 675. So now I got to go between the 600 meters and the 800 meter chevron, which is the third and the fourth chevron. Now as you see I'm aiming a little bit lower than I should be here. I should be aiming a little bit higher so that's why it ends up being a leg shot. I go ahead and take that shot again get a little bit higher in the aim and presto hit him in the cock that time. That's a good shot right? Now supposedly this thing has a max offensive range of a thousand meters so I go up to 800 and I should be using that fourth chevron aim directly at it, I hit him in the foot. So that starts makes me question about the accuracy of the weapon. So I aim a little bit higher, I hit him in the knee now. So I'm confused, but I go ahead and say, hey, this thing supposedly can hit a thousand meters, let me test it out. So here I go, aim at a thousand meters, use the last chevron there. See, I, do the, I even do the little range finder for you first. Uh, there we go. Aim it's kind of hard for me to aim, what can I say, I'm a noob. Because um, I got a dirty mouse most of the time. Anyways, um, so yeah, it's taking me a long time to shoot this guy. There we go, okay. And skips right in front of him. So I go ahead and aim again, but this time I aim a little bit higher, probably put him underneath the chevron actually. Completely underneath it. And another satisfying cockbag shot. I always love those. I get those a lot, actually. In any case, here are the scores based on the scripts. So, for the gun score, I give the SVD camo a 8 out of 10. The perks are the camo on the weapon. It's really nice. Um, the decent amount of rounds per mag, which is 10 per mag, has good strength, has a built-in rangefinder, but now the accuracy it's good and consistent from uh, you know 100 meters up to 600 meters but past that it starts to become inconsistent now as I said I'm not going to be giving this a negative gun score because of its max effective range but instead I'm giving a negative uh, on the range factor because it says in the chevron and the scope and the range finder it says you know it can go up to 800 to 1000 meters yet it starts becoming inaccurate through those so it makes you feel like a false sense of yeah I can shoot that far but you really can't not consistently and two more bad things about it is the bad zoom and the no zero and it makes you have to use those chevrons and not to mention you don't have good zoom so it could make it difficult for you to hit a smaller target so next up is the VSS Ventores this gun's fairly rare I've honestly never seen it in my entire time playing that's a good two months um, as a silenced capability it uh, it has full auto 10 round magazine um, it uses the PSO scope just like the SVD Dragunov um, and it fires a 9 by 39 millimeter round so first up here I'm going to show you the fire rate of the weapon um, it's obviously full auto so it's very fast fire rate um, However, the plausible fire rate's a lot different. You'll see as I go into scope here, it has white chevrons, so sometimes I can contrast with the sky and hurt it. Um, it's a little inaccurate, actually. Right now, I'm aiming at 300 meters, and uh, I'm using a 400 meter chevron to fire at it. So, that's a pretty good indicator of the accuracy right there already. 
Now, the reason why this gun is so inaccurate is because of its silence capability. It it the silencer actually reduces the bullet travel speed along with uh, uh the distance it travels. So, therefore, um this thing is completely off most of the time when shooting. You see here, this is a 300 meter target, and I can barely hit that. Keep in mind, I'm using the fourth Chevron, the fourth Chevron to hit him, which is supposed to be 400 meters. So that's not really adding up right there. Um, also, you'll notice that this scope supposedly can only reach out to 600 meters. So now my target is 400 meters away. Um, I go ahead and use the second chevron down which is supposed to be 400 meters and it's nowhere near so I aim as if it was 500 meters and I hit him right in the cock um, so this goes to show you that this VSS is not very accurate now I'm going to max effect the range here which is supposedly 600 I do the little range finder for you again I use that last chevron which is obviously not going to work but I do it anyways and yeah way 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 low so I do try to adjust I try to aim a lot higher and see if that can do it but uh, it seems like it's it's just not accurate enough to actually reach out that far but I do actually hit the target eventually and you'll see that in the upcoming shot bear in mind that uh, I have to aim like almost a whole half a scope down to actually hit him right here it hits him in the leg and it kills him. And uh, you know, I guess I guess it's a one-shot kill gun. I'm not sure. As I said, I've never found this gun, but um, yeah, this also has night vision capabilities, so it makes it very good for night operations when you're going to be within a hundred to two hundred meters of your target. So I gave the VSS Ventura's a six out of ten. The reason for this is one, it's silence capability. That's amazing. It's the only silent sniper rifle. Then you have night vision capability, which makes it super amazing because nighttime plus silence is like super sneaky ninja mode. Then you have a good fire rate, you got 10 rounds per mag, has good bullet strength, and has a built in range finder. The bad thing, though, that really kills this gun is the accuracy. It really does damper the accuracy when you have that silencer on it. So that host scope and rangefinder thing don't really come that much in handy considering you can only shoot from like 100 meters to 300 meters in a decent accurate manner. Along with that it has bad zoom and there is no zeroing so therefore you have to use these chevrons in order to get your shot to hit your target. So now there may be some you know confusion on why it's getting a 6 out of 10. The reason is for that is because its silence capability and its night vision do raise it a lot, but with how bad the accuracy and how inconsistent it is, the bad zooming and no zeroing, it just makes the, the quote-unquote sniper rifle into just a silenced assault rifle pretty much, because you cannot shoot further than like 300 meters accurately. And I put a lot of weight on accuracy when I'm aiming down the sights of a sniper rifle. So that's why I gave it a 6 out of 10. You may disagree, but that's the way I feel about the VSS Ventura's. So on to the big boys. We have the first 50 cal sniper rifle, the M107. Has a very low spawn rate. I've only had maybe 2 or 3 in my entire time playing. Um, it fires a 12.7 by 99 millimeter. 10 round magazine, semi-automatic. A uh, lot of punch for each bullet. It also has variable zoom with zeroing capabilities. So let's focus on the fire rate. This is the max fire rate of the weapon. Now I'm only going to use 5 shots instead of the whole 10 because I wanted to match up with the AS50. The AS50 can use 10 round magazines but instead I just decided to use 5 rounds. As you see here when we're doing the plausible fire rate test it has a lot more recoil than say one of those bolt action rifles. I do it again here, not zoomed in, 
just to show you if I can get on target at a different speed uh, uh, without the variable zoom. So for a 50 cal sniper rifle, 100 to 300 meters is obviously really easy to set your zeroing. So I start off at 500 here. And you see, since it has zeroing, it's very accurate. A good general rule of thumb is, if it has zeroing, it's going to be accurate. Composed to the DMR and the VSS Ventores and the SVD, no zeroing leads to inaccuracies. 700 meter shot, right in the neck, right in the neck, perfect. So, I try a thousand meter shot, aim for the head, and it hits. Now this range only goes up to 1400 meters, um, so I put it for 1400 meters but the zero in on this weapon only goes up to 1200 meters. So I go back and say whoops, 1200 meters it is. Aim for the head, bullet hits, but it hits a little bit low. That's the max range of the weapon. So I go 200 meters past its effective range, which is up to 1400. The reason I do that is because the AS50 zeroes out to 1600 meters. So comparing the 250 cals, I'm just showing you that this one doesn't zero as far as the AS50. Here are the gun stats for the M107. So I give the M107 a gun score of 9 out of 10. The reason for that is it's good accuracy slash zeroing. Uh, the bullet is amazingly strong. It's pretty much one shot, one kill. Uh, it has variable zoom for those closer targets and further targets while keeping its accuracy. It has a fast fire rate, so if you are point blank with someone, you can spam 10 rounds into their chest. Uh, but the, the, the biggest drawbacks I can find with this weapon is it's high recoil and it's very very loud I know I didn't cover sound with every other gun but in terms of the 50 cal this thing you can hear really well it's really loud for both zombies and players so last but not least is the AS50 another 50 cal sniper rifle fires the same round just as the normal 50 cal the M107 uh, the 12.7 by 99 millimeter has five or ten round magazines. You can use the M107 magazines in the AS50. This weapon has somewhat like a variable zoom, but it's called a fixed zoom, where there's two settings. You can't kind of zoom in and out a little bit at a time. You have to go either close or far. And those are your two settings in your scope. Also, one thing I want to mention real quick is that those who might say, hey, wh the, why is this uh, low spawn opposed to very low? Uh, this is low because of the amount of helicopters, uh, helicopter crashes are around the world right now in uh, DayZ. Uh, you can find them and most of the time you'll find an FM foul, a Bison, and, and an AS-50. So starting off here, I'm going to show you the max fire rate of the weapon. Spam clicking. There you go, there's five rounds. Again, I'm going to keep it five rounds just to show you the comparison between the 50 cal, or rather the M107 and this one. Now I'm going to do very... Uh, close in zoom firing as fast as I can while getting on a target now I fired that while zoomed in the max now I'm gonna do it again not zoomed in so I start off here at 500 meters I do double zoom 500 meter shot hit directly accurate I go ahead and set up a different distance now. 675 meters, 0 for 700, aim a little bit below. Headshot. Now I go for a thousand meters. Put this zero in on a thousand. Aim for his head over there, or center of mass. Headshot, hopefully. Oh, we got a center hit in his chest. I think I was aiming more towards the head there, and not so much his chest. 
but it did hit my target. So now I go to 1400 meters, which is the max range of the actual range. So sadly, I wasn't able to test the max effective range of this weapon, which is uh, the zero and goes up to 1600 meters. But I think a 1400 meter test was decent enough. It hit the target at 1400 meters. So I'd like to say with the zeroing, this weapon should reach out to 1600 meters. Not that you would ever shoot that far anyways. Always try to move into a closer position than take a risky 1000 meter shot. I mean, if you have to, you have to, but it's just bad practice to, to try to take a 1000 meter shot. Unless there's an like, awesome opportunity where you see two guys crouched and they're just sitting there playing with each other's wieners. Then yeah, by all means, take a 1000 meter shot. And here are the stats for the AS-50 according to the mission scripts. And for those with curious minds, here is the comparison between the AS-50 and the M107, the difference between them. The gun score for the AS-50 is a 10 out of 10. You can't beat it. This thing has good accuracy, zero in capabilities, very strong bullet strength, has fixed zoom settings, so close targets and further targets, has fast fire rate faster than the normal 50 cal, uh, can use both the 5 round and the 10 round mags in case you're short on ammo. Not to mention, this gun, from my experience, is actually quieter than the M107 in terms of 50 cals. Uh, this thing is, I'd say, about the sound level of a DMR. However, as with all 50 cals, it does have higher recoil. But that's one small drawback for this amazing gun. So here's a recap of the gun scores in case you forgot. Uh, they're all here. Uh, these are my personal gun scores for the weapon based on their stats and their their accuracy and their fire rates and all that. Um, personally, I don't even need a 50 cal. I prefer my M24. I love that gun. Because um, it all depends on what you're using it for. You're just killing players. 50 cal isn't necessarily needed. You can kill a player with an M24. But some people prefer the faster bullet, the further range, um, and they just prefer to be a badass with the 50 cal. So power to you guys, whoever it is using those. Nothing wrong with it. So if you have any questions, comments um, about this video or anything, go ahead and post some comments below. Um, I hope this video helped anyone that was confused about sniper rifles and how they work. Thank you for watching.